Hey there, friends. Got a TTG reaction for you with Labor Day. Labor Day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is it really that exciting? Oh, that's the reason. <laughs> Days off are nice, though. Day isn't just a day off. Yeah, also, these are heroes. Do, they don't... They, the days off don't count for, like, you know, villain activity or anything. They, I don't think they need three-day weekends when all they do is goof off and whatnot. It feels like... To them, every day could be a weekend. It's a day to appreciate labor. L Yo, labor, so really? That's what them pregnant ladies go through more than me. <laughs> I'm talking about pregnant ladies. I'm talking about the hard work that goes into the creation of nearly everything that you probably take for oh, granted. Oh, goodness. Want, like uh, this shirt, for instance. Yeah. About how much work it took to make it. To simply I mean, important labor is important, though. Plant seeds, water them daily, Are we getting another... Just the beginning. Are we getting another lesson episode? I mean, we learned about locations and share uh, and share mo and share economies and whatnot. Now we're learning about Labor Day, basically. I mean, to, to a lot of people, it's a three-day weekend. Pretty exciting, isn't it? Someone had to make the raw cotton into fabric. Yeah. Someone. Had to dye the white cotton different colors. Someone. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, I love that. Out of everything he has mentioned, Starfire only brings up that he bought his superhero outfit from a store. That's the only thing to get about it. We got Lord. He bought his clothes at the store. The soap store. Why are you buying clothes at the soap store? Hard to believe it took that many people to make a shirt that ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Robin made a good point. I never considered the importance of... Yeah. Oh, three-day weekend. Let's go. <laughs> We finally got a beach episode. Like what exactly? Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh, no beach umbrella. You can't have a beach day without an umbrella, though. You're gonna get boined. But as a as a tuna, if I go out in the sun for too long, I get fried. How are you with the sun? Let me know in the comments. Do you get burned or do you tan? Oh. Who forgot the beach umbrella? Watch it be Robin, that right? That was me. Oh, why? Now we'll have no shade. Oh, we are Wait, can Raven just make, you know, sun. a magical umbrella? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> what are we gonna do? What if? <laughs> we just made our own beach umbrella. What you crazy? That sounds like Oh, a with lot. labor. Exactly. An appropriate way to celebrate Labor Day. Wouldn't you say? Wow. Might as well make the umbrella. Might as well make the barbecue. Might as well make the beach. Make your own beach. Why not? Why not just? Why not just continue? Make your own beach. Make your own water. Make your own beach toys. <laughs> wow, they're agreeing with him. Okay, oh boy. Everyone clear on their jobs? How hard it's gonna be. Hold on, that's a cool chainsaw. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Bro. He is slurping. Oh. Looks like everything is in order. Titans build. I always. I always. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I always do wonder, how does treat sap taste? Beast Boy was guzzling that sap down like it was tasty, though. I'm sure sap must be... Well, I know maple... I know syrup is good, but what about sap? Is sa oh! You saw what I saw, right? 
Please tell me I did not just see. That was the only one that just saw what just came, what, what, what just happened right there. He, he, that happened. So, ooh, they made their umbrella. Labor Day. Oh. <laughs> I'm proud of us, Titans. With a little ingenuity and a lot of hard work, we built something with our bare hands. That's now, labor right the there. Beach umbrella? Oh, wait. What's the next thing they don't have? Oh. They gotta make chips now? I can't tell no lies, son. That was me, too. Dang it, Beast Boy. Do you just really want to make tortilla chips right now? But I am curious, though. The Teen Titans are actually doing something super productive instead of, you know, going to the store to buy tortilla chips or a beach umbrella, which Raven could have just teleported back to the tower and get. You know, all these issues would have been solved if Raven just, you know, teleports. No, the chips. The beach day is the without the chips. Really? Do people eat chips at a beach? I thought it was sandwiches and hot dogs and... <laughs> Why are they agreeing so much? <laughs> oh boy. They actually have to farm and everything. They are actually playing the Okay, Cyborg doing that was really cute though. They're actually playing Stardew Valley right now. They're learning about the importance of labor. But I love that in this episode about learning about how to make stuff, they're agreeing with him. They're not like, oh, Robin's so boring with this. Why are we learning about this? But here they're agreeing with him. It's really refreshing to see that, you know, they're going along with Robin's Labor Day thing. They, they really... So wait, it's been days. Labor Day is over, right? What a bountiful harvest. <laughs> we'll need to mix the corn and wheat with water and lime to make masa dough. What's masa dough? Masa dough? It's a mixture of corn and wheat oh, yeah. and water and lime. Dang, poor beast. Now star! Poor beast boy. Why is he doing it all? Also... Wait, can you just... Did you guess the lime transport... He's currently on oh. a strike over the dispute of the labors. There's a labor strike going on? Wow, but also, why is Beast Boy struggling? Just turn into the gorilla from the gorilla episode and make that crazy masa dough, you know? It's been we days! There is no beach episode! Oh. Did they not? Uh oh. <laughs> oh, look at that dough right there. <laughs> nice. Wow. They look good, though. They do be looking good. I would eat that in a heartbeat. Tortilla chips usually be really good, but all of this for a beach episode that they're, you know, pretty much days late now. Days late. <laughs> oh, tea tortilla chips. Okay, that's really cute. In his mouth? Why was Robin in there? Oh, nice. They look so good. <laughs> Wait, do they have to? Are they really just moving on with package designing? How far are they going on with this? What's next? Are they going to sell the chips and forget the beach day even happened? Oh my goodness. This is just getting more and more complex and I'm loving it. Oh. Oh, those. Wait, why not though? The Beast Boy just eat his table? Oh. Oh wow, of course. I never realized all the work that went into some dumb chips. All that for one bag of chips? Just for one bag? We are going to enjoy the fruits. Are you kidding me? Did they really do all the made all those chips? All those designs. Make the design. Make the bag happen. Seal it. For one bag of chips?
I hope Beast Boy, and it seemed like Beast Boy didn't even eat, get to eat the rest. They made all those tortilla chips one bag. What's oh, happening? wait. We're out of gas. Do they gotta make yeah. gas too? We're gonna make it to the beach now. <laughs> yes, we will. By making our own gasoline. Oh, oh my you god. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> uh, I'm already so tired, bruh. What's a little fatigue compared to the mastery we will feel when yeah. we're into one of Earth's most powerful natural resources? Or are they gonna start Whoa. drilling into the earth and everything? The first step to making gasoline is oh my a deposit goodness. of oil. Titans dig. Oh wow, I haven't heard this music in such a long time though. I remember hearing this music like way back in season one. They're really bringing back old themes, but I love that they're using Dig Dug. This is literally just Dig Dug. I love Dig Dug. It's one of my favorite arcade games. I love the Dig. Oh! They got Dig Dugged! Beast Boy got Dig Dugged! Oh! Oh! <laughs> The Dig Dug guy! No! Dig Dug guy! Sorry, dude. There ain't no oil down there. Dang. Just a bunch of giant and a fire-breathing monster. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate the Dig Dug reference. I freaking love Dig Dug so much. But I can't believe they let the Dig Dug guy die. <laughs> That's too bad. I guess we'll just have to make our own oil. How do you do that? Turn yourself into a dinosaur. Wait. You got it. No, 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 no. That's fossil fuel. Beast Boy turns into a dinosaur. They have to make fossil fuel from the fossil he Oh no, this is gonna get way dark if if it's gonna go the way I'm saying right now. Great! Cyborg, whip up a time. Oh no! No! You're gonna kill Beast Boy! Okay, Beast Boy, it's time to go on a Oh no, Beast Boy! I hope he, I hope he doesn't end up dead though. Oh uh, yeah, 65 million years and two minutes ago. Beast Boy, no! No, no, they did not. That is so freaking dark. All right, Beast Boy, we need to make oil. I'm going to kill you now. Right before the freaking meteor wiped out the dinosaurs. <laughs> not the scream. Beast Boy. He's freaking dead. of that i mean i'm sure they had to bring him back because it would have been so much cruel just to leave him for dead it's like it would have been super sad if beast boy was just dead right there but i can't believe they really just did that i can't believe robin would just kill off beast boy like that i don't know how he came back but he shouldn't have this is just crude oil we that's insane more labor but i'm so tired <laughs> we're so close we must toil on my arms can toil no oh. longer oh all that labor right there muscles aching to work minds oh. aching to create bro fix your head and your muscles oh. Bro, your chest do not be looking like that. That is not Robin's body right there. Robin's body would never look like that, though. Like, imagine being the person who had this photo taken and realized that your chest, your chest there has been shaved into the shape of man. Also, if you don't do it, I'll take away your pensions, your oh. health insurance, and your company tote bag. Not the company tote bag! <laughs> okay, you monster! We'll Dang, do. taking away health insurance is crazy, but the bag is crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness, might as well force them to work, right? They, they actually... They actually did all that work. They actually refined it into gasoline. 
had to drive it to a gas station, which I'm pretty sure they must have made their own gas station. And oh, they, they really be working all of this for a beach episode. Are we even going to get the beach episode at this point? I have no idea. But they're full. Now they can go. Will Titans, but once again, they made all that gas day. for well, one tank. That labor was just what about all that extra? Not the pregnant ladies. Not the real looking city. You can say that again. And she says it again. Imagine it's like, oh, yeah, you can say that again. She just says the whole thing all over again. We're never going to the beach at this point. They did all that work for one little tank of gas, one little bag of chips. The beach, um the beach umbrella doesn't make sense, though, but never forget Robin killed Beast Boy off. We have the deeper and yeah, now we can she was about to say it again. <laughs> super fun day at <laughs> Finally. Oh. Keep it. Oh my goodness, I was realizing that all the labor they did, time was flying by. That was a great way to end the episode, and this was such a funny episode, though. Yeah, labor is important, but it's also backbreaking, time-wasting work over here. Like, this is stuff that factories let robots do. If you let the people handle it, they're gonna suffer just for, what, for you to eat a bag of chips? It's like, oh yeah, people's arms are breaking and fingers are shattered, but at least you get to eat a bag of Doritos from the store. But... Robin is right, the labor is important because it goes through a long way, like the bag of chips you eat comes from a long line of processes to make sure you get that bag in the store for you to buy. But at the same time, it got really convoluted when they had to make every single thing only to come out with a bag of chips and one full tank of gas. When they made all that gas, when Beast Boy's body made all that oil... They could have had all that oil and sold it off. They could have been—they could have been rich. They could have used all that oil from Beast Boy's body and became rich right there and then, and then get a private jet to the beach. You know, this was a really nuts so road trip episode with a lot of lessons long learned along the way. Learned along the way. Yeah, sorry about that. But but Robin just becomes like one of those bad bosses that's like, oh yeah, if you do this, I'll take away your pension, your health insurance, and your tote bags. Like, you either work or you lose all your benefits, you know? Like, they're salaried or something. But we got another lesson episode here that, you know, everything you wear, everything you get, everything you buy pretty much comes from somewhere. And it's important to understand the importance of labor. While Labor Day is a three-day weekend, it is also an important day for all the, you know, that, you know, a lot of workers do make these things and appreciate for what they do. But at the same time, it is a three-day weekend, though. Can't forget that Labor Day is a three-day weekend that we all look forward to, I'm sure of it. But for the Teen Titans, they don't really have a three-day weekend. They don't go to school. They don't, like, villains don't take the day off, I guess. But we haven't seen any villain attacks in a long while, you know? So they're just, th th their whole life is pretty much a huge vacation at this point. But... This was still an enjoyable episode. I really did enjoy it. I love how overly complicated everything was for the sake of a beach day. I freaking love that. This was such a fun episode, but and I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment about what you think, and subscribe if you haven't done so. I'll catch you next time.